Once upon a time, in a cozy little room, lived two playful toddlers. It was cleanup time, and toys were scattered everywhere. Their wise caregiver smiled and said, Let's sort these toys. We'll put the big things in this basket and the small things in that one. The first toddler picked up a large, fluffy teddy bear. This is big, she exclaimed, carefully placing it in the big basket. The second toddler found a tiny toy car. Car small, he giggled, dropping it into the small basket. They compared a big, colorful ball with a small, shiny marble. Ball is bigger, marble is smaller, they shouted with glee. Next, they found a large building block and a tiny button. The first toddler struggled a bit with the block. Big block heavy, she huffed, finally getting it in the basket. The second toddler easily placed the button. Button light, he chirped. As they continued, they learned to compare even more things. A big book went into the big basket. A small picture card went into the small one. Sometimes, they disagreed. Is this toy truck big or small? The first toddler wondered. The caregiver helped them decide by comparing it to other toys. Together, they sorted everything with care and laughter. Soon, the room was tidy, and the toys were neatly organized. The toddlers felt proud of their hard work. We are big and small helpers, they cheered. The caregiver hugged them tightly. You learned about sizes and helped so much. From that day on, cleanup time became a fun game. They eagerly sorted big and small items, always comparing and learning. They understood that even small helpers can make a big difference and that big helpers can appreciate the value of small things. As they grew, they continued to help, always remembering the lesson. Sorting and comparing made them smart and kind. The end. Remember, every little bit helps. Even small hands can do big things.